you know, you, you evaluate every season uh, on a different basis, I think. But the bottom line is, you know, are, are you getting better and are you really maximizing what you have given your circumstances? And, and uh, you know, last year was really disappointing. But, you know, it's, it's like a lot of things, you know, uh, uh, it's amazing how how close things are. And it's usually not as bad as you think or not as good as you think. And I go back to 09, our highest ranked team. You know, we're, we're more than fortunate to get out of our first game, as you know. So, um, you know, it's just how fine a line it is and what, what you do with each opportunity. But we're, we have, I think uh, all of us are excited about what's in front of us. I'm excited about the team that we have a chance to coach here in the next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, just excited to get back to work. And I, I don't have any uh, any reason why we can't be successful, but but we have to go out and do it, and that's that's been the one common denominator. We've had success, you know, we've earned it, and that's that's what we got to do. And Greg and I sat down, uh, you know, we had a lot of time on our hands, obviously, uh, before the holidays. Uh, I sat down with Greg Anfield right after the season, you know, a week after after everybody had a chance to digest some things, and uh, I think the one thing that you know really clear, Greg Greg has a much better feel for where we're at and who we are right now, and uh, said that's. One thing, and then the second thing is, I think he's really enthused and encouraged about where we can go. And I think all of us share that share that feeling. Uh, there's some things we have to do to supplement and, and uh, uh, you know give ourselves a little bit better chance. And we've had a chance the last you know week and a half to start going through cutups and going through our tapes. And uh, I think it's kind of that way on both sides of the ball right now. I think we see a lot of room for improvement, potential for improvement. And uh, to Mike's point earlier, you know it's, it's uh, you know a lot of this is stuff that we can just do better. You know, that's what we need to do. That's really the challenge. But uh, we're still very much open to, to looking at some new things and trying some new things. And we do that every year. But I think you know, when you win four games, one thing about it, I mean, there's ownership there. You know, we all, you know, we can't, uh, you know, play here, play there. You know, so two plays with big difference. You know, you're six and six. You know, and that, that's what we're striving for. So um, it does. It really causes you to look at things and, and uh, be introspective a little bit. But. You know, the big thing is, is to, to come up with a good plan and then really work that plan well, and hopefully we can be a little bit better at it this uh, this time around. At least hopefully you're looking continually at what people are doing uh, in all areas of football, and uh, that includes recruiting as well. So that's part of growing and part of getting better. And then the other part of it is, you know, whatever you see and whatever you like, you know, can you, um, you know, transition that into what you're doing and make it fit, and does it work, or is it just going to, you know, throw your whole whole system out of whack and I don't think we need to throw our whole system out, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, fresh ideas are good, certainly. And, you know, if, if there's something someone can do to supplement what we're already doing, you know, that's a great thing. And those are things we talk about in meetings, and that's how I think you grow. And, you know, getting uh, getting people to throw ideas out there is always a good thing. It's a healthy thing. I think everybody's been motivated by the fact that, uh, you know, we didn't play as well as we want, didn't have the kind of record we wanted, didn't go to a bowl game. And, um, you know, if, if there's a positive in that, sometimes that's a good stark reminder. You know, you're sitting at home watching everybody else play, and you're not. And uh, so I think the, the energy, the vibe I've sensed from our players and our leaders has been really good. And I had a chance to meet with those guys again this week, the leaders, uh, midweek this week. And, you know, they're a very positive group, and I think they're really, they've all taken ownership, and they're doing a great job of uh, sharing their vision with their teammates, too, which is it's really encouraging. It's how you deal with things. You, know, you can sit around and you know, make excuses or you can sit around and, you know, think of reasons why things didn't go well or you can do something about it. And I think everybody's attitude right now is, hey, let's, let's move forward here. Let's push ahead and see what we can do with this next opportunity.